a good morning everybody isn't this like so freaking cute i don't know why i chose to buy such a small little contraption i didn't think it was going to be this small but it came with a little baggie the diffuser parts which you can unlatch and then of course i'm assuming this is for like straightening your hair but i probably won't use this because i don't really straighten my hair like that um this is so funny to use like literally <laughs> i'm gonna have to end up getting like a bigger one the one that i do have now is pretty big but i lost like the piece on the top so i more likely will have to get like a whole new setup but this is great for like traveling isn't it so cute i'm gonna do my hair though um i'm kind of in a rush today i rushed to do my little lashes and everything so <clears throat> but yeah Extra shot of the roast. <laughs> Buttery croissant. Oh. Another day, another Starbucks. Usually I get like a, a cheese danish, but lately they haven't been hitting. So I get like the little croissant. It's very delicious. And then I also usually get like an iced caramel macchiato, but they also have not been hitting. I don't know if it's because they suck now or what, but I just get the frap, the caramel frap with four pumps of the roast. Jake, on the other hand, why'd you get a grande? You didn't uh, get a venti today? Iced white chocolate mocha with oat milk. <laughs> no fucking whipped cream on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, did you also get one or no? Okay. No. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my hair with this little ass contraption. It's probably gonna take me longer because it's so small, but it is what it is. I'm not returning it. What if I want to go somewhere? Then I can take it with me. Well, was it expensive? No, it was like 20 bucks. Oh. What all? It came with all this stuff. It's good for if I were to go somewhere because it comes with a little bag. But yeah, that's true. I'm probably going to get another one though because I'm, I'm yeah, going to piss go. me off. Well, I don't want to return it. At this rate, I'm just going to leave my hair like this. It's taking forever with this little last thing, so currently grocery shopping i don't know if you guys have a woodman's where you live but so far this is what we got i'll probably do a grocery haul when we get home but we're gonna continue shopping and we are finished are you happy that we're done this took longer like I, i'm telling you we were at the grocery store for like over an hour <laughs> a few moments later so i'm back home we did end up going grocery shopping and i spent can y'all guess i spent I really thought I was gonna spend more like I gave myself a, a budget of $150 which Nowadays, I feel like that's really not much when you go to like the grocery store But I got quite a bit of stuff and I did go to Woodman's. I don't know if Woodman's is in every state But it is here in Wisconsin. So um, I ended up spending $133.89 and I got quite a bit of stuff like if you look at this list, it's very long very lengthy um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys everything that i got and then i'll do a little haul um but yeah this is what i buy for two people and this lasts us for i don't know like a week a week and a half maybe a little longer i don't even know um i guess it depends on how many times i cook a week or yeah we'll see though everything that i got which we can start over here um i'll of course go a little more in depth on what i got the meats are clearly right there but i ended up getting more meats there just in this bag because they're low-key leaking a little bit so i might just end up leaving them in here and putting them in the freezer i do also have to clean out the fridge and the freezer because everything is a mess like i'm telling you guys a mess i need to reorganize everything but let's get into the haul okay so the first purchase was these guava candies i think these are so good if you've never tried them before they are delicious i'm used to eating guava just because being a puerto rican that's just something that we eat but we eat it in kind of like a jelly jam type of form with like um crackers and cheese things like that but 
I'm gonna start, I guess, with the vegetables. So I ended up getting some mangoes and then I also got um, a little green, a red pepper, two green peppers, some carrots. Um, I think I got like four bananas, some salad for myself. I'm the only one that eats salad in this house. Also did end up getting these for breakfast. They're so good. I feel like the, um, the bagels that are bigger are just too much. So these are kind of little and mini and if I feel like I need another one, I can eat it, but they're so good. If you haven't tried these, I would definitely recommend it. I don't know if these have raisins. Um, I think they do, but they're still good with a little butter. Delicious. And then I did end up getting some, what are these? Some Yukon potatoes, I think, or golden potatoes. I like these way better than the russet ones. I just feel like they taste less like dirt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then I did get a little tropical blend so that I can start making smoothies in the morning because I feel like I drink way too much coffee and it's low-key affecting my face. Like if you see, I have a lot of acne, but um, I did also end up getting these like frozen vegetables and they're really good. They have um, cheese, I think. Yeah, they're lightly sauced, it says. And not bad if I want to like omit eating rice. I swap this instead, so I end up eating these instead of the rice. I got some chicken ravioli with Asiago cheese. These are really good with like um, marinara sauce, or I like to put it with Alfredo sauce. It tastes really good that way. I did get a total of three of these. This is the only one that's not frozen. The other two are in that bag. But the reason why they're over there is because of the fact that they're leaking. And then aside from that, I did get two of these chicken tenderloins. This one was $9.44 and then the other one was $8.16. I've been struggling to find like tenderloins for the longest time, but the reason why I get these is because I feel like they taste a lot more, they're like more tender, if you know what I mean, uh, compared to like a chicken breast. I like to put this in my rice if you're Puerto Rican or you're Hispanic. Or if you're anybody who likes to eat, I guess. I would definitely recommend trying to put this in your rice. Like if you make rice with pigeon peas, we call them like gandules in Spanish. They're so freaking good. Sear this up first and then obviously put the rest of the ingredients. I might end up doing like a little more cooking videos because I really enjoy to cook. And I feel like I'm a chef. So <laughs> some mashed potatoes. I never really get this, but it's just a lot easier to have it already made. So, you know. <laughs> This soy sauce, however, y'all, is so good. Like, the one that I have, I think I was using the Kiko Man one, but it's not that great. Definitely recommend trying this out. I don't know if they sell them everywhere, but I'm pretty sure you can find it at like your local um, Asian market or anything like that. As far as beans goes, I got some raid fried beans because I do love a good taco night. I don't make it myself, but I do like it refried, so it's just easier that way to take it out. But chickpeas, um, I also got some black beans and then two cans of tomato sauce. Um, then we did get some brown sugar cinnamon for Jake. These Pop-Tarts, um, I don't really like them, but he enjoys them. He devours them every day. <laughs> I ended up getting some, um, some of these. I really like strawberry on my crock. I literally eat strawberry all the time. Like it's so good. Vegetables are everything. Very juicy, very, they, they do the job. These are for me, cause you know, I like my jelly. I like my grape and then Jake, he doesn't really eat jelly like that. So he got the one that's just the hazelnut spread. And then of course for Jake, more snacks, some baked ruffles and then the pistachios. These were on sale, I think they were like $4.99. Some ramen. I haven't had ramen in so long, so when I saw these, I had to grab them. We did get three of these. I got the, I think this is just the, the five cheese garlic, and then this is the supreme one, and then the pepperoni pizza. These are more so for like when I'm working and don't wanna actually cook anything, because it's really hard to cook like in the middle of my shift so I don't really do anything except for you know try and either buy something or make something but um, I think I pretty much went through everything I don't know if I missed anything let me know but um, the last thing that I ended up getting was these gogurts the berry and strawberry flavor are really good and that's pretty much it I think I think I listed everything like I said I spent a total of $133 uh, for all this stuff, which I think not that bad. Every time I cook or do anything in the kitchen, Leo loves to look at me when it's time to pick him up. He doesn't, he's like a stiff boy. Like, 
relax i'm not gonna drop you <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna end up putting all this stuff away and then from there i'll probably eat a little snack and then maybe do like a cook with me uh for dinner because you know i love to cook and who would i be if i didn't show you guys how i make my food so Just finished reorganizing my fridge. I had to do a little a little cleaning in the trash because I had so much stuff in here that had to go. Put all my vegetables down here and then up here I do have some chicken because I'm gonna be making this later today, hopefully. Um, and then I do have some hot dogs, some ham, the mashed potatoes, and then I have everything else up here. Um, and then the top shelf is more so just for like the sauces, the salsa, the pico de gallo back there. If you guys have never had this before, it's so good. With some chips, I'm telling y'all, it's it's a must. It's delicious. In the freezer, we have it stocked up. Oh, you guys, I got these yesterday. They're so freaking good for like a little treat. Um, it's basically like whipped cream in there mixed with kind of like ice cream. I don't know exactly what they put in there, but it's so good. Filled with Bavarian custard cream, there you go. I think before I ended up getting these, but the problem was that they were in dark chocolate. They're not that bad, but I would definitely rather have the milk chocolate. I just think they taste way better. This is basically like our junk of snacks. I just don't know what else to do with it, so I usually put like random things in here. We still have a lot of chocolates, if you will. It's giving Halloween. If, if we had kids that came here, I would literally give them candy, but I don't know if anyone would do like trick-or-treating here, or I don't know if they do do it here. This is like a whole apartment building, so I doubt anybody's gonna come, but I'm gonna put these little guava candies in here and I'm gonna mix them up just because I don't know where else to put them, so. I definitely have to get better with the reorganization of this stuff is wanting a little candy, but sorry, buddy. I'm telling you, these are so good though. Like, mm. my mom used to buy these and she would hide them from us because we would eat all of them because they're that good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rice. I did put one and a half cups of rice in here, which um, rice to water ratio, I do typically add half a cup more of water. And I also do put a little oil just so that the grains don't stick. Since I'm gonna do one and a half cups of rice, I'm gonna do two cups of water. I do have to, however, turn this on because I almost forgot. Um, but yeah, I put it on medium and then I'll show you guys a little more once it gets time to it. And then um, I do also make sure to add like a little a little, a little dash of salt, because you know, you don't want the rice to be bland. I don't know what's going on with my salt mixer thing, because it's sticking, if you can see. I don't know if you guys can see it, so it's literally sticking to it, which is making it so hard for it to come out. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put in two cups of water in here and let it boil. Typically, I do wait for all the water to be soaked in by the rice and then from there I'll put it on low for like 15 to 20 minutes and the rice would be done. But I am gonna really quickly just go ahead and mix it to make sure that the oil and the salt get mixed in there with the water and the rice. And then I'll just let it sit for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead in with the black beans. I am just gonna literally put it all in there with the juice. Um, I know some people like rinse it out. I'm not gonna do all that. We need all the flavor we can get. So I'm gonna literally dump everything in there. I know some people make their beans like fresh. I don't have time for all of that, so don't come for me. Basically put like all of these onions in there. 
I love cilantro. I know some people, um, depending on the taste buds, I feel like some people think it tastes like soap. Not for me. I've been eating cilantro since I was born, basically, so since I came out of the womb, if you will. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I use, just because this is an essential part of you making your whole meal in the first place. Um, but first of all, I do go in with this. This is the Sazon Goya, and I do like the culantro and achote. This, the achote is basically, it's the anade. I don't know how to say anything in English, apparently, but that's basically what's gonna give it color, and it gives it such really good taste. I don't know what it does, but it's, this is a necessity for your meal, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, I just got this new one because I literally ran out. But I'm gonna put a whole pack in here. I'm also gonna go in with the um, Goya Adobo. This also has like pepper and all of that, like black pepper. If I had to I like give you measurements, I guess like two tablespoons maybe, but again, I don't really know for sure like what the exact measurement would be for it. Um, because I eyeball everything and I cook with the heart. And I do also add a little extra black pepper just because um, I just feel like it needs it. And this is stuff that I do on a daily, so. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the garlic powder. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like that with those seasonings. I just take my little mug and put a little water in here. Okay, much better consistency. So you have to remember we're gonna be eating this with rice, like white rice, so it needs to be liquidy enough. Not too liquidy, of course, but liquidy enough to where it can just marinate with all the flavors here. Rice is basically almost done. Well, it's done with this part. So we still have like 15 to 20 more minutes, but now that it's basically soaked up all the water, what I typically do is I mix it and then I cover it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover the rice, put it on low, and then leave it here for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then it'll be done. You see this part right here? That white part? I am so picky about my chicken to the point where I will omit that part and cut around it because, I don't know, I just, meat kind of grosses me out lately, so you gotta do what you gotta do at this point. <laughs> Would you want to eat this piece? Because I sure as hell don't. It's disgusting to me. Like, imagine cutting, like, biting into a piece of chicken and then you have this. That's repulsive. the chicken i'm gonna go ahead really quickly and start seasoning it um, i am wearing some gloves just because again i don't want to stain my hands and i don't know why but typically when i touch chicken i get itchy and i actually forgot to put the gloves on when i was cutting the chicken but again i'm gonna go in with the goja seasoning i love this for everything like you really can't go wrong because it's an all-purpose type of seasoning um, and again i don't use measurements i'm just gonna go liberal with all of it because we want flavor in this house we're not going for bland here um, if you guys have this at your local grocery store, I would definitely recommend this is the best Cajun seasoning that I've been able to find Every other Cajun seasoning you can't compare. So I'm gonna go ahead and go liberal with this And don't be scared of seasoning like trust me There's nothing to be afraid of <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with some black pepper just put it in my little shaker And then a little salt We're gonna go in with some garlic powder a little bit. You don't need too much because you know just a little, a little, a little tad. And that's pretty much all that I do as far as the chicken goes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it really quickly and get all those flavors in there. So now that I have the seasoning on the chicken, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the pan, put some oil, and then we'll get these cooking.
this is literally how we like our chicken in this house. Nice and, and brown, if you will. Cause if they're not brown and crunchy, I'm sorry, but, but yeah, they're basically done. Um, these other pieces, I just have to flip them over because look at that. Oh, nice and crispy and golden brown. If I leave them in a little longer, they're gonna get too burnt, but um, they're perfect right now. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and serve. Alright, so this is the final result. I kind of did like a little burrito bowl. So we got the white rice, the black beans, the chicken. I had some pico de gallo left over. And then some lettuce, corn, salad. How are you enjoying your meal? As you can see, I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, <laughs> even though I gave him a little small ass piece, but he doesn't eat lettuce or like tomatoes. So obviously this is not for him, but no, you don't. Not like this. Not like that, but yeah. I do. But yeah, this is the final result. And now we're gonna go ahead and watch our little The Goldbergs episode and eat. And I will speak to you guys later. Bye.